In our last video, we found the most beautiful beach to boondock on. But with that came super cold weather, which caused us to end up heading up to Cabo San Lucas a day early to find the warm weather again. Join us today as we continue our journey of driving the entire Baja Peninsula in less than two weeks in our van. Subscribe for new videos every Sunday. Oh, it's really dark. Good morning, guys. Let's go watch the sunrise. Do I look like I'm cold? <laughs> it's probably 60 degrees. I'm a little chilly, but I it's gonna be I think it's warm. warmer than that. You think? I, well. Let me check I don't know, this actually. out. Is the tide up? The tide is very much up. It's exactly 60 degrees. All right, see if we can find a good spot to see the sun pop up over the mountain here. I'm a bit of a hot mess right now. I just spilled my coffee on the blanket. And I don't even know if you can hear me because the waves are pretty loud. Yeah, we're nice and close to the water's edge, so. Here. So this is my little setup, my little blanket, but spilling coffee everywhere. getting a little windy but I wanted to show you guys the showers this is where the outdoor showers are and of course we have our bathrooms so here's the showers and bathrooms and if you just pan there's where we spent the night with a couple of other vans as you can see we went and saw a beautiful sunrise and now this is what's going on in van life Mr. McCaskey, Mr. Van Caskey. <laughs> well, I think uh, this morning we're gonna go ahead and make some hash browns with peppers, onions, and some scrambled eggs. And then we'll get our day started with a good meal. About to put on the potatoes. Got everything all cut up. We're, we do cheat with the potatoes. Yeah, I use some dehydrated potatoes. Just because, well, it's easy. <laughs> get you some ketchup because I know you love that. Yes. Ain't, ain't no shame in my ketchup game. I love ketchup. Ketchup is the new salsa. Here you go. Voila. Breakfast is served. He's an amazing cook. I wish you guys could try his cooking. Literally, I'm spoiled rotten. Thanks, Bob. After cleaning up Bob's amazing breakfast, we headed down to the beach for some snorkeling at Playa Santa Maria before heading to our next spot.
All right, let's go find our next spot. We don't exactly know where we're headed, but we're looking for a beach with some parking and we'll see what we can find. Yeah, let's go explore Cabo. One quick thing to know about this place that we just stayed, the Santa Maria? No, yep. La Santa Playa, Maria. Playa, Playa Santa Maria. Playa, Playa Santa Maria is we just saw another van um, ask somebody who works here for water and they brought a hose out and they were able to fill up their van with water at this location. I'm like, how cool is that? Yeah, that's awesome. Did <laughs> you miss it? Yeah. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> that one wasn't even that big. It was a little concerned spot. I missed it. Yep, good job. We found a quick little stop here at a beach called Playa Costa Azul. Here, I'll show you the sign. Maybe hard to see with the sun. This wash, and there's our van. And then you can kind of see the highway right there. So it's really, it's a quick turnoff. It's, it's pretty sharp. But uh, it does bring you down here to this nice beach where we can see all of the nice waves. I think there's actually some good surfing here too, but I don't know that for a fact. We just met Martin and he is showing us his setup. Tiny uh, camper. <laughs> tiny camper, he came and looked at ours cause he's gonna actually be building out a van. And so then we wanted to see how is he living? He is super minimalist. And this is amazing. We can show them the kitchen. Yeah, let's see the kitchen. Kitchen in. It's here. It's amazing. With, uh, snorkel. Oh my god. <laughs> For the hair. So you're a DJ? And D then what else? DJ, I play guitar. Um and I sing and rap through like rap music. Oh Very nice. Yeah. That rap, is nice. rap covers, yeah. Awesome. And this is it, the bed. This is cool. I mean, this is quite the setup. Look at, oh, look at the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, decorate. I'm gonna redecorate the whole thing with new fabric soon. Are you? From those fabric shops. Oh my gosh. And then where do you put your clothes? Clothes, that's the... <laughs> that's that's the, the problem area. right now. Oh, oh and there's the it. closet. <laughs> and then you got all your toys up top. Yeah, there's, in there is uh, a surfboard, kite surfing, gear, two kites. Oh my gosh. Like a, okay. mi a microphone stand. And I've got a skateboard in here too. Oh my word. So you've been doing this for five, five years? Five years, yeah. Five years. This one. Well, maybe longer. 2015 I got it actually, so. Seven. Seven. But I've been not doing so many winters in this. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can understand why. get an apartment. You yeah. Know, when I was in Canada. Yeah. He said he'll never buy a house again. He'll never live out of a house again, right? Nah, this is think, a life for I you. I don't think so. But I think you Just should build a bigger out of car. Van. Yeah. You definitely should build yeah. out a van. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. The main reason I want to upgrade is for a desk for my, oh, to set up a studio. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And then it's like a mobile music studio, which would yeah. be really, really fun. That's a great idea. Yeah. Wow. And this is, this is... Did you sleep here last night? Uh, no. You If you sleep on this beach, you normally get woken up. Yeah, that's what I thought. Really loud Mexican music. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. Where did you sleep? Yeah. Uh, by the shopping mall, actually, weirdly. Oh. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. It's just knowing it's obviously closed at night. Yeah. There's, there's no through road. Yep. It's like super quiet. Super quiet and safe. Yeah. And then in the in the morning there's the Starbucks in the bathroom. And the internet's really, really fast and you can just go to Starbucks and work. And they don't care. Awesome. Well thanks awesome. for sharing. Yeah. All about nice. and your like, setup and your life. Thing. Okay, so that was one of the coolest things to meet Martin. He was so nice. He just walked right up to us and was like, Can I see your van? We're like, Of course. We say bye, Martin. Here bye, buddy. He is. Nice to meet you, Martin. I'll link his music in the description box in case anybody wants to see what kind of music he listens to or he makes. Um, but he's called Mr. Twitch. Be excellent to each other. He has a great story. He actually inherited a house in the UK 
and that's how he makes his money and he's able to stay out here in Baja. It sounds like he's he goes to Canada a lot. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he's fallen in love with the minimalist living out of a van lifestyle and it's pretty cool. So that was definitely a highlight for us in Cabo. Yes, for sure. Meeting people, learning about them, oh <laughs> their, their, their life and their experiences. It's really cool. It's just, it's fun to just meet new people. All right, so now we're off to our next location. We just got to our next location and we decided to stay at an RV park tonight so that we can fill up water, do the gray tank stuff, and yeah, what are you thinking? I'm thinking it's awesome. We're getting right to it. Already drained our gray tank, got our power going, filling up our water tank. Yep. And they've got decent pressure here, so we'll just hook up the uh, sink to the city water fill. That way we can just use our sink, wash dishes, all the stuff we need to do, and we don't have to worry about hookups or anything like that. Sweet. Yeah, this is our spot. Nice little cozy spot. I mean, it's not right on the beach, but it'll be good because the next like <laughs> four or five is gonna be right on the beach, but. The ocean is just right there. We will show you that later. It is $30 to stay here for the night. And I already went and checked out the bathrooms. Great, great bathrooms, right? Actually, really close bathrooms and good showers. So that is our goal. Power up, fill up, shower, <laughs> do all of that before we go to the next, I think four or five nights we'll have none of that. So we thought $30 would be worth uh, doing this and seeing this side of Baja. Nice having hookups so we can just hook up the power and the water. So now we can just wash dishes and brush teeth and do all the things that we need to do without having to worry about our water tank and the gray tank. So Which I am thinking we may need to level. We haven't bit. ever been worried. It is something that I always think about. Really? I'm just aware of where we stand with uh, how much water we have and how much gray water we have. This is our awesome view. It's time to hit the beach and I want to go try and find some food. That's the bathroom and the shower. There's two showers and two bathrooms from what I can tell so far. He only had two spots available so clearly this is a popular place and it looks like lots of people live here or at least leave their stuff here and come here for the winter. Probably can't hear me, but we're gonna go hopefully watch some kite surfing while eating lunch. to lunch probably a big mistake probably it, somewhere around two miles maybe <laughs> but it was nice walking on the beach I mean I do it again yeah it was nice except for it was extremely windy so luckily on the way back it'll be pushing us back so we'll be at our back a little hard to record when the wind it's like literally unrelenting and yeah yeah but we think it'll be worth the food I think we're gonna give this place a 10 out of 10. It looks, the food looks amazing. I got the smoked marlin crispy tacos. They look amazing. Amazing? So good. Wow. And I got shredded beef, but I will spare you watching me eat it.
classic. Okay, so a classic McCaskey mistake. We just went to an ATM and didn't do US dollar or pesos, so we wanted pesos. And so it said, do you agree to essentially a $5 fee? And we said yes. And then we just wanted like 200 bucks. It gave us 200 pesos, even though it, it just didn't make sense because they put it in English, but whatever. Well. So now we paid another $5 to get 5,000 pesos, which I think is $250-ish. Something like that. <sighs> Guys. Behind us. Okay. It's okay. like, if it's not one thing, it's another. Like, we've made every mistake possible that you can make. Pretty much. Yeah, so. On to well, finishing this one mile walk. Total uh, of four miles. We <laughs> choose the wrong thing. We're, Bob said, what if that's 200 pesos? I was like, no. Yes. We didn't want $1,000 in pesos, but clearly we're such newbies. 1101 not working? Nope. We're trying to get out of this hotel. Somebody told us the code was 1101. Pound one one. <laughs> you had to pound first. <laughs> Bob, it's just like in America. I need it last. So we now have a code to get in a hotel that we don't aren't belonging to. Well, note to self. We want to come back this way. <laughs> they had nice bathrooms. Pop in there. Yeah. Now we know how to get up to that hotel. There's nice people everywhere. So we got our cash and now we're walking back to where our van is parked. We did it. It was about four miles. We're back at the RV park. Walking back was definitely easier. One, we knew where we were going. Two, the wind was at our backs, so what we're back and we had a stop halfway to get cash, so it kind of broke up the journey. Yep. I tell you, but we're notorious for every time we go somewhere wanting to walk and get a lay of the land and figure things out. So we did it. We're back. Belly's full with amazing food. After that four mile walk, I needed a shower. I'm all showered and clean. The shower was amazing. And we did make another rookie mistake. That being, there is a washer here and a dryer that we can use for 50 pesos each, but we did not bring laundry detergent. <laughs> so we are waiting for somebody to be in the office to see if they sell any, and if they don't, we're probably gonna run up to the store to get laundry detergent because I think it's so worth it to just get a load of laundry done. <sighs> Rookie mistake number 51. Shower, huge success. I was able to blow dry my hair. And now we just were able to realize that there might be a store right across the street that we can walk to to go get some laundry detergent. So, we're on our next adventure. I'm brave, Dory, be brave. <laughs> There's the RV park. <laughs> There's the store. Score. We got the goods and we were able to break one of our 200 pesos. Yes, so we have a little bit of change, which is always needed when you get gas. Uh-oh, let's run. Okay, better go. But what I was saying is you always need uh, small pesos to tip when you get gas. And we've been known to tip $10 because we didn't have small pesos. Yep, now we're set. We're all set. Let's do, go do some laundry. Hopefully the washers are still available. There's two washers and one dryer and it's 50 pesos each. And she said, the lady I talked to said, you know, you just do it and 
it's on a, what would you call that? A, on your honor? Yeah, an honor system. So let's go do some laundry.